For the traditional one, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to be using this phone case that as you can see is pretty old and I've had it for a while, used old and I use it over and over and over again. But doesn't matter because we're going to be painting this with this white acrylic paint and this brush and I'm just going to be covering this until it's big enough. Once that's sun and dry, I'm going to be going back with my white acrylic paint, some blue and red and a brush. This is a brush that I'm using. It's like really thin and just detailed. I got it at Hobby Lobby, I think it was. But I'm going to be customizing my own shade of blue by just mixing the blue and the white. So I'm going to be painting the blue part of the flag. I don't know if it has like a name or something, which is just a square of the left top part of the phone case. I'm going to be giving that three coats until it's like opaque. Then I'm going to be moving on to my red and this is like the stripes pretty much. For this, I'm just going by eye, not placing my lines like pretty perfect. But if you want them to be like more precise and perfect, you can use a tape to guide yourself. I didn't go for it because again, this is just handmade and I, this is the bite that I was going for with this one. And plus it looks like a flag that is moving with the wind. I don't know. I'm just going to be giving that a few coats and then I'm going to be moving on to my like where the stars are. I didn't go for stars, I wanted to make something easier for people to just paint at home and I'm just going to be adding dots for that I'm going to be using one of these hair clips and I'm just going to open it and that's going to be like my dotting tool and I counted the stars I did that and it's like six on like the top and then five towards the bottom and then once I've done that I'm just going to be adding kind of like the polka dot pattern to it just going in between those and just adding one in the middle I'm going to be taking this gloss that is from Sculpey and a brush and I'm just going to be giving this three coats until it, everything looks smooth the whole thing is covered obviously but more than that everything looks like has a good like coat of this gloss if that makes any sense then i'm going to wait for this to dry and this is pretty much the traditional one that i wanted to share with you i love this one i love how it looks this is how it looks if you're writing or taking a selfie or you know whatever this is how the flag is gonna look but if you are using this like this watching some youtube videos like mine so hopefully you like this one now for the abstract one for that I'm going to be using a better looking uh, clear phone case but I'm going to be using this acid that cheat and I'm just going to mark the phone case once that's done I'm just going to cut that and then because I want to be able to use the camera as well I'm just going to mark the uh, space up where the camera goes and I'm just going to cut that I'm going to be taking a q-tip and I'm just going to cut it into two parts I'm just going to go ahead and turn it upside down now this is where it gets interesting and different so the image that I'm going to be painting is on the back. So it looks like more of a sticker rather than just a paint. It's going to be making sense at the end, but just put this uh, upside down to so work on the back. My Q-tip is basically going to be my brush for this. So I'm just going to grab a bit of paint and I'm just going to dab it. Then I'm going to let that part dry. I'm going to be then uh, adding the red stripes. And for that, I'm going to be taking the other half of my Q-tip I'm just going to take a toothpick and I'm just going to scratch where the stars go but in this case again I'm just going to be going for dots. I'm going to be scratching a bunch of like dots and then I did this I just scratched the excess of like paint on like the blue part and this is pretty much what you can do with toothpicks and acetate sheets you can just remove what you didn't want as far as paint goes. Then that goes on the back of my phone case and this is pretty much what it looks like. I think it looks really cute and it looks different because it's not perfect. And this is what it looks like again, taking a selfie and writing a message, watching YouTube videos like mine. They are both really different, different styles. But yeah, I like them both. Hopefully you